What's up guys, PC Enthusiast here and today we are building an ultimate gaming PC that will run any game at 60 frames, 4K resolution, but you can also use this on any 1440p monitor with 144Hz. Still, if you plan to game on 1080p or even 1440p at 60Hz, you will find this PC complete overkill and you might be better with a more down-to-earth gaming and editing PC like my $1200 gaming and editing PC and for all of you that plan to buy 4K monitor or want to upgrade your existing PC to hit the 60 frames on a 4K, prepare your mind for this, for this is the ultimate 4K gaming PC. Anyway, before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. We will start this build with a CPU. For a CPU, I went with Ryzen 7 1700 8 core 16 thread CPU. For $2,300, I want to put a CPU that will not only handle gaming very well, but will also offer more than just gaming performance, and this is where this processor shines. Its powerful cores will have you covered with all the tasks you throw at it. If you want to stream, no problems. Is editing your niche? Great! The CPU will cover all of that. Also, this is the most affordable 16 thread processor packing 3 GHz base clock speed and 3.7 GHz turbo. This CPU will not shy away even if you decide to overclock it. It has 60 MB L3 cache memory and only 65W TDP, so investing money into large heatsink or all-in-one liquid cooler will not be needed unless you plan to overclock it as far as you can. And if you do that, then I recommend Fractal Design Celsius S24 liquid CPU cooler. What is there to be said about this 240mm all-in-one cooler? Well, to start, it is most certainly a darn nice looking cooler. More so, I found it rather eye-catching, minimalistic Scandinavian design, also it is a dead silent all-in-one cooler. Pump is covered with sound dampening material and fans running at 100 rotations per minute are nearly impossible to hear from 25 inch distance. Installation is extremely simple and it will ship with IM4 mounting as well. Its performance is awesome. For a $100 cooler, this thing packs a huge punch and will keep your CPU nice and cool under heavy load. Next, for motherboard, I recommend Asus Crosshair 6 Hero motherboard. This is a very high quality motherboard and we all know Asus does an excellent job with their motherboards. It has 4 RAM slots with DDR4 memory with a maximum supported speed of 3200 MHz and a maximum of 64GB of RAM. It also has SLI crossfire and RAID support. The nice thing about this motherboard is that it has holes designed to fit coolers with IM4 mounting, but also if you are using older cooler that have IM3 plus bracket, then it will fill this motherboard as well. It uses 8 pin and a 4 pin connector for your CPU to allow highest possible overclock. On rare IO you have 8 USB 3.1 ports, 4 USB 2 ports, 1 USB type A and 1 USB type C port. Also, you have BIOS reset and clear CMOS button as well as usual audio connectors. It supports onboard USB headers and front panel USB 3.1 connector. Regardless if you are a high-end PC overclocking enthusiast or you just game, this board is absolute beast. Moving on to GPU. For GPU, I recommend EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti 11 GB Superclocked Black Edition video card. This card is absolute beast. This card is absolute beast, and I only truly recommend it for gaming at 4K resolution and all the graphic options cranked to highest settings. If you're a fan of GPU overclocking, you will enjoy ICX cooler this card have. It have 8 plus 6 power connector for all the extra juice your overclock might need. EVGA did hit all the sweet spots with this cool quiet graphic card that pushes performance to literal brink in all games at 4K. So don't hesitate to buy this card if you're gaming at 4K resolution or even 1440p at high refresh rate. Next, for ARM, we have Corsair Vengeance LPX 16GB of DDR4 memory running at 300MHz. I just can't not recommend 16GB of RAM as $2,300 PC build. A 16GB of RAM is becoming standard for gaming nowadays. I personally have not yet played a game that did not run fine on 8GB of RAM, but 16GB of RAM will not only future-proof you in gaming department, it will also be enough for rendering, video editing and other work. Next, for storage I recommend Samsung 850 EVO 1TB 2.5 inch solid state drive and no hard drive at all. I personally do not need more than 1TB of storage as I remove everything I don't need from my PC once I no longer have need for it. But of course, if you feel like you need extra space, you can swap 1TB SSD for 500GB SSD and 6TB hard drive for storage, but it's mostly personal preference. For power supply, EVGA Supernova 650W 
Golden Certified Fully Modular ATX Power Supply. EVGA has one of the best power supplies and Supernova is one of, if not the best, 650W modular power supply. So what does this EVGA Supernova have? Better than excellent ripple control and voltage stability. Fully modular and semi fanless mod switch with fantastic build quality. Do you really need any more reasons to get one at this point? Last but not least, to house this build I recommend NZXT S340 ATX mid tower case. NZX340 is the near perfect case for those that want to assemble a good home gaming PC. It's spacious enough to hold powerful components, large cooler and liquid cooling options. It also have a great airflow and it's mostly made out of solid metal. On the other hand, the only real drawback is a relatively small number of drive slots that might have impact on people that use several hard drives and several SSD drives, but for the majority of PC home users this will be insignificant. All in all, I found this to be one well-rounded case. To sum this up, this was 4K gaming and editing PC for $2,300. Hope you find this useful. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.